You know, it's just a thing that teases you until your ship is made real. And I love it. Hey guys, it's Chanel, aka Beverly Reeves, and we're going to be talking about writing slow burn. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good slow burn. Don't know what slow burn is. It's basically where you have these two characters who have obvious romantic chemistry, but they don't get together just yet. The author gives us their moments, they give us their sparks, and just when you think that they're finally going to kiss or finally become a couple, the author dials it down. And they have us wanting more. Let's go over some tips on how to make the best of writing your slow burn scenes. Timing. The purpose of slow burn is to make things slow. Now as writers, we have our ships in mind and of course we want to see them together. But is going fast really the best option sometimes? The perfect example I have for this is one of my favorite shows, Chicago Fire. But recently, I noticed that they were trying to put a new ship in the show and I was really unsure about this one. Like, I'm really unsure. So it's between Matt Casey and Sylvie Brett and I don't know, like I was totally against the ship. Casey was newly divorced and Brett was friends um, with his ex. So it was just a complicated situation that it was going to be in. And honestly, I really just thought it was the lazy route. Brett, come on. <clears throat> Talk to me. What's going on? How could you just let her go? But here's when slow burn benefits an unexpected ship or a ship that needs more time to be developed. If Casey and Sylvie got together, like, right after he dealt with his divorce, and like, I wanna say like weeks later or so, I would totally not ship them or have anything, want anything to do with that ship because I feel like it would have been too soon. And like I said, it was just a complicated situation and that is just so lazy. Like, <sighs> like of course you would, make them a ship like of course sylvie you're the one who should be with matt casey not me you know that right what oh no 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 he was he was married to my best friend <laughs> no he's definitely <laughs> come on establishing a relationship so already casey and sylvie had the advantage of working at the same place we still had to establish some other type of relationship between them I mean, I'm pretty sure that they trust each other, but we didn't get that, oh yeah, they're totally cool in like relationship for them. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were friends. I would like to say they were acquaintances more than friends, you know, and of course coworkers. But I guess once the, once the divorce happened and little by little, we get to see them become friends and to see that they have so much in common and I love how the characters also start to realize it as well. So it's good to remember as you're doing those slow burn scenes, we want to build a relationship with those two characters and see how they're able to help one another and think about how are they conversing. Building chemistry, my favorite part. Slow burn is more than inching towards each other's faces and then pulling back with red cheeks. It's about chemistry. How do they interact? Do they know each other's likes or dislikes? How are they able to help one another? What are their conversations like? Once you build up that relationship, you get an idea of how these characters are able to interact with one another. You get to figure out if they're comfortable, are they awkward? And if they're either of those options, why? What is it about that other character that makes them feel this way? And if this is a situation that they're processing that hey, I actually think I might like this character, then you really get to go inside their head and have them figure out the process. Friends to lovers are probably the best kinds of slow burns you can find. Because at the time that you met this person, it wasn't your idea to be romantically involved, but more time is spent together. And then, wow, I think I like this person. There's also situations where one of the characters is aware of their feelings that they know that they like their friend, but it's just a process of getting the other character up to speed that, hey, I actually do like you. I have a like a new recent favorite ship. Um, it's from Sweet Magnolias and it's Ty and Annie. 
and like I want them to be together so bad and it's that friends to lovers situation that I am really really hoping for I don't know when it's gonna happen season two hasn't come out yet but it's gotta happen like oh my gosh I, I ship them so bad like you can clearly see that they're there for one another and because they're so young um you know high schoolers you know they're still trying to figure out their feelings and you know one of course is aware of her feelings other person on the other hand needs a little help so uh but you can see like hints that you know what maybe I do like her too so oh my gosh I, I am so hoping for this ship to happen I I hope so <laughs> You text no <laughs> don't take too long i know the chase is fun but eventually the race gotta be over usually when your ships take too long to get together you start to lose the interest of your readers i know it's fun to throw obstacles their way have this tension this drama but it's gonna get annoying eventually you know, i think about scarlet and gunner from nashville one of my past favorite shows one of my past favorite shows and i wanted them together so bad like from the moment they sang together i was like this this is the couple no way that they could go on like this and not be a couple and that was episode one so time goes by they finally become a couple and i was like super stoked super happy but for some reason once they got together little obstacle there obstacle there obstacle there they break up and that was pretty heartbreaking i really 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 wanted them together i would say i did like that they did stay friends um they were still interacting with each other their singing was still like on point and they still had that chemistry so everyone like still wanted them back together you can't make you talk to me but i can make you listen so fast forwarding to a lot of seasons later, um, it was being teased that they might be getting back together. And I was liking those moments as they were talking to each other and you could just see that hint that, yeah, I still love you, but none of them are sure if they should get back together. It was literally just one person had to take the leap to say that, yeah, we're getting back together. And it happened. So you would think that this would be good. No, they broke up again. So at this point, you can't do slow burn with these characters anymore because they've been on and off with each other so much that you're just over it. And even when they did get back together, it was a long time that people honestly just were just over it. Like, you know what, they're not, they're not gonna get back together. So what's the point of even hoping? And yeah. And I love him. But you're not in love with them. I'd like to think. Then why don't you keep ending up here with me? They keep teasing us that they're going to get back together again, but it's like they still kept breaking up. So it's like, what's the point? So yeah, it's really hard to do a slow burn scene with a couple that keeps breaking up all the time. Another example that comes to my mind is Danny and Riley from Baby Daddy. Now, I love Baby Daddy. I love that show. I, Oh my gosh, there are still, like some episodes I just like watch on repeat. I absolutely love the show. But to this show's benefit, I will say it was a half hour sitcom. So it goes by very quick. And if you binged watched it like me, um, situations that did happen, it just feels just like that because the episodes were short and it doesn't feel like time has went by. But I can imagine like watching this show like live and like as the weeks like gone by then when they take their season breaks and yeah. I loved Danny and Riley like I shipped them from the moment I knew that Danny was in love with her and I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for them to get together someday you'll find a guy who truly appreciates you a guy who can look into your heart and know what you're thinking with that situation Danny is aware of his feelings Riley is the one that needs help and the problem with that ship, I guess, was that she actually liked his brother. And uh, it was a complicated situation. It was pretty much a love triangle. It's just a matter of him. Now, I would say he just took so long to tell her how he really feels. 
I would be fair though. Every time I think he did try to tell her, I don't think she took him seriously. Like I think one time he did say that he was in love with her and she thought he was joking. So, I mean, I can understand his frustrations, but yeah, it just took so long to happen. There was just so many couples in between on both sides. And yeah, I mean, I still shipped a couple. This is just like a minor example of ships taking too long, but honestly, the timing wasn't so bad. I just wish it happened sooner. And then I just also wish not too many obstacles got in their way, but hey, that's drama, that's tension, you know, so whatever. Throw some in there, just don't overbear it. Brilliant! I'm in love with you. Okay, if this whole hockey thing doesn't work out, you should totally be an actor because I swear for like two seconds, I actually believed you. Right. You're so sweet to come to my rescue. Chemistry is more than banter. Now, I love banter. A lot of writers do. There's got to be some type of normal conversation going on. And even if they are the characters who banter a lot, when they actually do have that moment to have an actual serious and very sincere conversation, make it count because they might start to be surprised at each other and that also builds up the slow burn like, huh, there's more to this guy than just sarcasm. This will be their time to see the vulnerabilities of each character and see probably what, you know, their hopes and dreams are, you know, what, what, you know, what are their goals in life? This is their chance to learn more about these characters. So this um, kind of falls into basically like the builder relationship and, you know, the chemistry ladder but you know me just pointing out that you know just because they have a good banter you know that just can't be their only route towards chemistry there actually has to be good conversations going on and just seeing how they complement off each other so guys those are my tips on writing slow burn scenes now in the description box i'm gonna put a link to an article that actually really helped me a lot um when i was starting to write slow burn scenes and it just has like 15 techniques that writers should use for slow burn so make sure you check it out in the description box please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you can be aware whenever i make a new video and don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram so you can get an insight into my writer's journey and um, Preptober is coming just a couple of days away or by the time I post this video, it's already here. But yeah, Pre Preptober is here. Um, on Instagram, I'm gonna do a Preptober challenge on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. Then maybe next week I'll start talking about my October goals because I did come across a lot of obstacles and September did not turn the way I wanted to. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget guys to hang on tight because we're writing something great.